by Nathan. Nathan's MRE, and today we have a very special ration. Today's ration is a Mercom Russian ration. This is a 24-hour ration. This particular one has a production date of 918, no, 920, 2018, and 820, 2020 as the expiration. All right, so these aren't very common to find. Um, I got this from North Georgia Outdoors. I'll put a link in the description of the first comment. And there'll also be a discount code for you guys uh, for his website. And I don't think he has on this listed, but you could also get a hold of him and get this kind of stuff if desired. This is mini number two. I have no idea what mini number two is. Let's see if it even has. I think it has a Ziploc on the bottom. There we go. And hopefully, post office didn't have their way with it. I don't see anything leaking so far, so it looks good. And we have a few things here. And you get the different stuff in different ones, the different drinks, different items. Some of these have ketchup, and I think I see some ketchup. So we have two of the drinks. I believe these are raspberry. Then here's a pack of the ketchup. And this is actually very good ketchup. Uh, it's almost like a barbecue sauce type situation going on. There we go. And we also have, mm, I believe that's jam. I don't know if I can translate that, let's see. Okay, so the purple is plum jam. I don't know if I've actually seen that before in that kind of packaging. Raspberry drinks, like I thought. This is actually just classified as tomato sauce, but it is definitely not only that. Uh, we have three of our disinfection wipes here. Our Esbit stove, a little strike, striking board on it. One, two, three, four sugars. This one's packed up pretty good. Got one, two, three, four, five coffee creamers. Package of coffee. We have two packages of coffee. We have two teas. We have three spoons. We have our concentrated, or not concentrated, our sterilized cheese. A little banged up. It looks like it made it through okay. And here, I'll have to translate this bad boy. Well, let's get her hooked up here and we'll go right as we go along. Minced meat sausage. All right, that sounds good. Bean meat, which I think is meat and beans. Kasha buckwheat porridge with beef. Stewed beef, so Tashanka. We have our officer's chocolate. Hopefully it's not too bloomed out. We have our gum. And I think this was the Tutti Fruity. Mint flavor, not Tutti Fruity. A little pack of pepper. It almost got ripped open. Here we have vegetable caviar. Interesting can on that one. I haven't seen that one before. We have two packs of wheat crackers. We have three packs of the purple label flour crackers. Should be interesting. That's a lot of crackers. We have our little knife for our pâtés and such. We have, I think that was salt. Yeah. Packing slips, some of those little napkins, and that is pretty much it. Okay, so we'll go and roll the edges on these cans so they don't spill out. Open it up. Whoa, buddy. Hmm. I put my rag within reach. Yes, I did. Blew some gravy out of there. Looks risky. All right. It's like uh, some chunks of beef. It doesn't look as appetizing as some, but it does smell very nice. Open up the kosh to see how it is. Check the status of it. It's 
Actually, it looks really good. It's not dry looking. It does smell a little bit perfumey. And this was our meat and beans. So we think. AKA the, the bean meat. This actually looks pretty dry. It's like a... Uh, I don't know, like red beans with beef in it. Interesting. All right, let's heat these up. We'll get all the drinks going. We'll be right back. Okay, so got everything plated up here. We're gonna go ahead and drop this tea bag in here. Get that going. Got some nice hot water still steaming. And we'll come back to that here in one second. Get our drink going. Do we have a tear notch? Yes, we do. I don't think it's going to work too hot. I don't know why, but all, this, all these Russian drinks all have clumps in them. It smells nice and tart, almost like currant. That one's definitely got some sugar in it. Where's our wet nap or dirty little thingies at? Right here. We'll come back to that here in a minute. All right, there we go. Let's actually stir that with our pate knife there. I think we're ready. So first up, we're gonna do the beans. Oh, these babies are freaking hot. If I can pick those up or not. Hope it don't melt the tray. Super dry looking. They smell kind of funky, to be honest with you. But look at that. I smell... What is that spice? Hmm. I was gonna say chili powder, but it's not really. It does have a little bit of a seasoning to it. I'm not really sure. Maybe a little bit of chili flavor to it. Maybe a hint of chili, chili powder, maybe. They actually aren't too bad though. They're a little bit sweet. I'm sure it wasn't burning that. I'm gonna try this stuff. This stuff doesn't look like it's heated, but it definitely is heated. It's raging in there. Stir it up a little bit. Buckwheat and beef. Like I said, a little bit. Perfumey. But it's not bad at all with that. Move that back over here just for a minute. We're going to slide in the Tashanka. The Tashanka is smoking hot see if I cannot spill that I think this is what a lot of the Russians were grabbing about it's a lower quality beef but you know let's see well it still has a really good taste to it though it's basically just like beef stew, right? Try not to spill this over the place. So we'll start mixing and mashing a little bit of this here. With that, a little bit of the beans. Get 
pretty decent. But I do know all too well that this is the star of the show. So look at that. Almost like a barbecue sauce type situation. Oh, perfect. There's a little bit of almost like a Worcestershire type taste to it. Probably not. Try some with this. Big chunk of beef and those beans. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get this off the side. That's super sketchy, super full. I'll push that up there so you can see. And we'll squirt a little bit of our sauce here in the kasha and this is going to be perfect it's just what it's missing it's uh, almost a sweet low acidic uh, tomato paste kind of hmm they should give these in every Russian ration Absolutely perfect. I'll try to find somewhere to put this where it's not going to spill out. Put it back right there for right now. Let's go ahead and move off to the side this guy. Because we got to get our other stuff in here. This is our minced meat. Sausage, as you will. There you go. It's pretty decent. Before we go too much further here, give that one more stir. Got a floaty in the drink. A piece of the wrapper. It's a very good drink. One of my favorites. You get the other packs of stuff like the apple type flavored lemon drinks. To me, the raspberry ones are a lot better. It is almost like a, it's very similar to a current. Very, very nice. Next up, let's try some of the minced meat. Minced sausage. It's definitely got some grease in it. It's very light, very easy to chew. Um, let's try to think what that's like. It's not like spam. Spam's nasty. That's very mild. It's not crazy salty. It's not seasoned all weird. It's just meat with fat. Next up, our vegetable caviar. Uh oh <laughs> let's see if I can oh got like that all over my shirt all over my pants it's like I pooped on myself Well, the can needs a little bit of work, that's for sure. A little cleanup. Looks to be a carrot based. Let's just see here. Give her a little mix. A little smell then taste. It's very sweet. It's definitely a, a more of a carrot base. I think it's still all have squash and stuff like that in them. It is have almost that 
marinara sauce kind of taste to it, but with a hint of carrot. It's very sweet. It's actually a nice addition to the kasha. Hmm. And a can of cheese. Really, as far as Russian rations go, this one actually has some pretty good stuff in it. Piece of plastic off the lid. Before we go any further, jump into one of these. Crackers don't smell bleachy at all, they smell actually really really good, really mild. There we go. I mean, to be honest, this is actually a very good ration. Uh, probably one of the better ones I've had. Even though the beef isn't the quality some prefer, it still has a very good taste to it. It's really a cross between corned beef and uh, it's like beef roast, right? Super tender, super nice. Everything is actually very good. We're going to try some of this plum jam on here. There we go. Actually, it looks pretty decent. Hmm. Rut row. Spilling it. There we go. It's almost like a plum preserves. Very nice. It's very creamy. It's not real. Like you buy jam here in the store, it's just like sugar, right? It's not like that at all. It tastes totally different. Real fresh, real natural, real nice. I didn't do any of the coffee. The last one we did, we did the coffee, not the tea. So the tea on this one and not the coffee. That's some really good tea. That tea bag doesn't come out pretty soon. It's gonna get too strong. We're gonna go and do the officer's chocolate. It's kind of squished. So that's not a good sign, but we'll see. No, it's good. Did get a little bit melted before. That's all right. It's still in near pristine condition. Oh, I don't know why it's like that. I haven't seen that one before. It's kind of bloomed on the inside, but not the out. It smells perfect, though. Hmm. And it's soft. It tastes perfect. Am I supposed to be like that? The last ones I had of this kind were not like that. It's actually a very good chocolate bar. That's pretty much going to be it, guys. Overall, a very good ration. You know, I know a lot of these rations are similar. But a lot of them are different bags, different items in it. But the at least one or two of the mains are always the same. Like this one, I never seen the beans before. They have meatballs in some of them. This and that. We're going to let the gum go for right now. Because I'm planning on eating some of this. That's going to be it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked it. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.